everyone. I know, I know, I know I've been disappeared for like two weeks, three weeks, I even don't know, and I'm so sorry. I don't even have a good excuse for that. But I'm finally back with a fresh new episode, and this has been actually requested by one of my patrons, Anais L, and that is how to decorate your empty white wall. I thought this was a great, great, great episode to jump on because sometimes you don't need to buy real furniture or spend so much money to give a lot of personality to a room, and all you need is one very strong accent wall that is gonna put all the room together. <laughs> Tip number one is mirrors. I did this video like a year ago and it went completely viral. And yes, my room was completely transformed by these mirrors because of two big reasons. One, mirrors reflect light and this means that all the rooms look so much brighter. And number two, it gives the room so much more space. It looks more spacious. And this can totally be a kick in if you have a small room. There are several ways that you can transform your walls with mirrors. You can buy one very big mirror with a super cool frame and already it's gonna give a vibe to your space or a super big trend is this industrial wall so you just buy a lot of little sticks and you can buy this little squared mirrors from Ikea. I'm gonna show you like a little shortcut of how to do this wall in your room and I'm telling you you can do it colorful if you have more like a funky vibe or you can do it industrial in black or you can leave it in wood if you have like more like of a earthy feeling that you want to give to the room. Suggestion number two. I have been doing this for so many of my clients right now because it's becoming a huge trend and that is simply wood lines. It doesn't even have to be wood. It is enough if it looks like wood because the plasticky ones are cheaper and they give actually the same effect. I'm gonna leave you the link for this one down below and it's super easy to apply but if you are a little bit more crafty and you want to decide the shape of your wood and the direction at which it goes i will show you now a few rooms that i did with this trick you literally can decide in any position that you want it all vertical in this room i actually did it also on the ceiling so to make it like a huge headboard behind the bed you can do this also in your living room and it's gonna look insane behind the couch for example or maybe even behind the tv then i had this different client that had more like of a minimalistical look and they wanted something modern but not too strong of a personality in the room so what we did was do diagonal lines on the walls so all the wood had to be cut in, in diagonals and then we also painted on top of the wood so that it would have more of a earthy but cohesive feeling with the rest of the room instead of the wood jumping out of the wall in its own color Choose whatever fits your space. Tip number three, and this is probably the most famous that there is right now, and that is gallery walls. There are so many videos that are gonna explain you in detail how to make a gallery wall. You can literally cut out some papers or cardboard and place it on the wall, and in that way, you can literally decide all the placement and where to put them before making holes in the wall so that there is no commitment issues. But I will also give you a second way to do this. I just saw this on Instagram a few days ago. I'm gonna show you the video that I saw and I'm gonna put her link because I thought this was genius she just added like a little brass pipe on the back I would actually say that you can also do it with an Ikea curtain and it's gonna work the same and after on that she attached all these little chains on which she cooked the paintings and the plants and all the accessories that she wanted for her gallery wall I thought this was such a cute and special and new way to make a gallery wall I'm definitely gonna try this in one of my new makeovers as I told you at the beginning, this video has been requested from one of my patrons, so before we go any further, I want to take a second to thank all of them. So a big big thank you to Zari, to Shalom, to Asia, to Kismet Tarkin, to my mom, to Leila, to Anais L, and to Shahar Shams. Let's go back to our episode. Tip number four. This is probably the easiest and the most obvious, and that is color. You can decide to paint one single wall in an accent color, and it's gonna immediately drive the attention to that place. You can decide to do it halfway through the wall, and that is incredible. I did it in this apartment, and that is already an incredible change that you can give to the room, or you can actually decide to just make a square in the wall that you want, or if you're a little bit more crafty and you're a good artist, you can actually paint your own drawing, mural, whatever it is on the wall so that the accent wall is also going to have its own texture. I did it on this other room instead as a little backdrop for this room makeover. I'm going to show you even more pictures of what I found on Pinterest because this idea can change the space completely and it's probably the cheapest, cheapest, cheapest thing you can do because all you're paying is for the price of paint and your time. 
So you're not a good painter and you don't feel comfortable painting your wall. Don't worry, we are up with the next tip and that is wallpaper. There are so many gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous prints online that you can find. Some of them are very expensive. Some of them are very affordable. You can totally go with whatever your pocket tells you, but the result is for sure gonna change your space. You can decide something more minimalistic that is almost like a paint with a little bit of grid that you're adding to the wall or something with real drawings on it if you want something more special. I'm gonna put you here a few of my favorite rooms that have been completely transformed by wallpaper. But again, you don't need to limit yourself to what I'm saying. Just go with what you feel that your room needs and the colors that would more put together the scheme of your space and I can guarantee you, you're gonna love the result. New tip, I think it's number six. I don't know if I'm right. This one is gonna surprise you a little bit, but I'm telling you curtains. What happens when you have a room but you do not have windows in the room? It immediately makes the room suffocating. So if you have a room without windows at all, the biggest tip that I can give you is to attach a huge curtain on the wall as if there was a window behind, we don't really need to have the window because it's immediately gonna make the feeling of the room become so much more luxurious. I'm gonna show you here places of hotels that are luxurious that have this huge, huge, huge curtains and you have immediately this vibe of elegance and expensive simply from the texture of the curtain. Now, this tip does not work only in rooms that do not have a window, even though that's a great hack in case you don't have, but even for rooms where you do have windows, always bring the curtain way higher than the window all the way to the ceilings and way beyond right and left because big windows look like a more expensive place give more vibe to the place make all the place look more vibey and cozy and expensive stylish i do not know what is the right word but curtains are for sure a tip that can style up your wall tip number seven okay this one is probably one of my favorites and it's plants you can totally bring a full garden inside your house. You don't have to exaggerate like me if you feel that this is too much, even though I love it and I get questions about this all the time. This one is actually from Ikea and I needed to customize it a little bit, so I needed to go and add from little vases. I ripped out some leaves to make it that it would be different colors and textures and stick them together and I have this beautiful arch in my living room that gives the entire space a complete vibe but if you don't want to go so strong another idea with plants is just adding them on little spots have you seen on pinterest this trend of these little transparent vases that are stuck on the wall with only one leaf coming out i love it so much i haven't tried it personally yet but i'm sure i am gonna do that soon and even though you're not like a green thumb and you're not good with plants it's gonna work because the little vase just holds the leaf inside you don't need to water it it gives so much coziness to the room and I think it's totally special and it can totally transform your space. New tip, it's textures. So eh, behind me you see both the plants and the bricks and I think that giving a natural real or fake texture to your wall can be everything. So if you want to do it with brick walls, if you want to do it with concrete, if you want to do it with wood, anything that is a natural thing that could have been the real structure of the house even though you don't have it is going to add so much to your space. I did this with wallpaper. I have a video where I explain in detail how to do it if you want it. It's gonna be here down below. Here's a little summary of what I did, adding also texture on it. But you can do this with anything. Even if you want to do like a concrete wall, you can do that. I actually did a video also about that. Or if you wanna do it with wood, anything that is gonna add like some specialness to your room is a huge, huge, huge tip. I love it. I did it more or less in every space I did because I love some original fake texture on the wall. You want another tip? Okay, I got you. And that is shelves. I have been loving this and I think that it's very important, especially if you have a small place or if you need somewhere where to storage or expose your beautiful accessories that you have and shelves can be a perfect way to style up a wall. You can put your paintings on it, you can put your candles on it, you can put your accessories. I'm gonna show you here some of my favorite pictures of rooms that I think that get all their personality literally from this shelving wall. A great idea is also to paint the shelfings with the wall together, like you can see here, and it becomes all one block that makes it look so, so, so custom, even though it's actually just an Ikea shelf. Or you can go for totally different shelves of different length and different textures that you put together so that they give even more like of a 
funky vibe to the space but even this is a great way to transform the space last tip of all if you want to transform your space is to subscribe to this channel because we do incredible diys room makeovers and tips for your space every single monday okay yes i have been absent for two weeks but usually it's every single monday and you do not want to miss this episode don't forget to subscribe i love you so much and see you next monday